They are probably the world's most watched tour group right now. A group of wild Asian elephants have journeyed around 500 kilometers across southern China, through villages and forest patches. Occasionally, they take a nap with a baby elephant snuggling up amongst the big ones. How cute is that? The elephant has been on the move for over a year now in what has become the longest animal migration of its kind recorded in the country. But no one is sure why. First thing first, movement is normal for elephants. They are mammals that share a large house range where they can find food. But wandering this far is very rare. Experts cite two possible contributing factors. One, the continuous growth of their population. And two, a loss of habitat. Wild Asian elephants are under Class A protection here in China. In addition, the country has strict anti-poaching laws. That's why it is one of the few places where the population of this endangered species is still growing. Over two decades ago, Asian elephants numbered about 170, and today, that total has grown to 300. But at the same time, the habitats of these elephants are shrinking, although nature reserves have been set up. Asian elephants love to live in an open forest land, and they love to eat grass and vegetation closer to the ground. But the landscape has changed over years. Since the forest tenure reform in the 1980s, the way locals farm has changed, and a lot of villagers switch to growing trees with economic value, such as rubber and tea. These forests cannot provide food for elephants, so that, in one way, explains the conflict. So, where will they go next? No one knows. When will their journey end? Also unclear. But experts say that's unlikely to happen anytime soon. Now, I've mentioned that those giant creatures sometimes ventured into villages or towns or even some of the more populous areas of Yunnan during their journey. So, we want to make sure the safety of both the animals and the locals. The elephant's every move is under close watch. Officials have been tracking the wandering herd with drones around the clock. Elephants are highly intelligent creatures. During their long migration, they've tried to shun the crowds and stayed in wooded areas most of the time. But still, because they're so large, they sometimes damage people's homes as they navigate their way. So, whenever they're about to arrive at the village, local officials would evacuate residents in advance. Loss are inevitable for villagers, but Yunnan government has purchased commercial insurance for all residents starting from 2014, so the villagers will get compensated if wild animals cause trouble for them. The elephants are still on the move. We don't know how long they will travel, or when they will head back, or even if they will ever head back to their old home. But there's one thing for sure. Their journey offers a good chance for us to really sit back and think about the coexistence between humans and wild animals. <laughs>